Friends, today is July 4th, 2025, a date that will be remembered for generations to come in Ethiopia and across Africa. Something truly historic has just happened on the African continent, capturing the attention of millions and making headlines around the world. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD, is finally complete after more than a decade of relentless construction, planning, and hope. This colossal structure now stands tall on the Blue Nile, a symbol of Ethiopia's ambition and perseverance. Ethiopia's Prime Minister, Abiy Ahmed, addressed the nation and the world, announcing this monumental achievement. He called the dam a testament to national unity, determination, and the unwavering spirit of the Ethiopian people, who have dreamed of this day for decades. The government is preparing a grand inauguration ceremony at the dam site, inviting leaders from Egypt, Sudan, and other Nile Basin countries. This gesture is meant to foster dialogue, cooperation, and a sense of shared destiny among nations that depend on the Nile's waters. For Ethiopians, the GERD is far more than just concrete and steel. It represents a dream realized through years of collective effort, sacrifice, and national pride. Thousands of workers, engineers, and ordinary citizens contributed to this achievement, each playing a vital role. From the bustling streets of Addis Ababa to the quietest rural villages, the news has sparked a wave of celebration. People are dancing, singing, and waving flags, united in joy and hope for a brighter future. The GERD marks the dawn of a new era for Ethiopia. It symbolizes hope, progress, and the promise of energy independence as millions of homes and businesses will soon be powered by clean, renewable electricity generated right here. The world is watching closely as Ethiopia takes bold steps to control its own future and manage its natural resources. International media, experts and neighboring countries are all paying attention to what comes next. This is not just a national victory for Ethiopia. It's a powerful story of development, regional transformation, and the potential for African nations to shape their own destinies through innovation and cooperation. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam now stands as a beacon of progress and hope, ready to change millions of lives and inspire future generations across Africa and beyond. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a colossal structure on the Blue Nile, near Ethiopia's border with Sudan. The dam's main wall is 145 meters high and stretches over a mile, creating a reservoir larger than London. Construction began in 2011, and after 14 years, it's now Africa's largest hydroelectric project. Built in a deep gorge, the dam uses gravity and its massive weight to hold back 74 billion cubic meters of water. Every detail was engineered for efficiency, making GERD a modern marvel at the heart of Africa. It's a symbol of Ethiopia's ambition for a new era of growth and prosperity. The GERD's main purpose is to generate electricity, lots of it. With a capacity of over 5,000 megawatts, it's Africa's largest hydroelectric power plant. Water from the reservoir spins massive turbines, producing clean, renewable energy. This more than doubles Ethiopia's electricity supply, bringing power to millions for the first time. Reliable electricity will transform daily life, powering homes, schools, hospitals, and businesses. The dam will also fuel industrial growth, create jobs, and help lift the nation out of poverty. Ethiopia plans to export surplus electricity to neighbors like Djibouti, Kenya, and Sudan. GERD could become the battery of East Africa, fostering economic growth and regional cooperation. It's not just about lighting up Ethiopia, it's about connecting and empowering an entire region. The dam is a vision of a brighter, more connected African future. What truly sets the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam apart is not just its size or ambition, but the remarkable way it was brought to life, funded almost entirely by Ethiopians themselves. This is a story of a nation coming together, united by a shared vision and a deep sense of purpose. Rather than turning to international lenders or relying on foreign aid, the Ethiopian government made a bold call to its people, both at home and across the globe. Citizens were encouraged to buy government bonds, contribute what they could, and take ownership of the project's future. The response was overwhelming, with Ethiopians from all walks of life stepping up to support the dam. Farmers in remote villages, teachers in bustling cities, business owners and students all found ways to contribute. Their efforts went beyond financial support. Many saw their participation as a patriotic duty, a chance to shape the destiny of their country. The GERD became a symbol of unity, hope and collective strength. This self-financing approach marked a dramatic break from the past, where large-scale projects often depended on outside help. 
Ethiopia showed that African nations can dream big and achieve even bigger, building transformative infrastructure on their own terms and with their own resources. The dam's $4 billion price tag was a daunting challenge, but the unwavering belief and determination of the Ethiopian people made it possible. Every contribution, no matter how small, was a building block in this monumental achievement. Through collective sacrifice and shared dreams, the GERD has become a powerful source of national pride and identity. It stands as a testament to what can be accomplished when a nation rallies together for a common cause. The dam is more than just concrete and steel. It represents the hopes, dreams and resilience of millions. It is a national dream realized through the tireless effort and unity of the Ethiopian people. Today, the GERD stands tall as a monument to Ethiopian determination, ingenuity and self-reliance. It is a beacon for future generations, inspiring them to believe in the power of their own hands. The dam is a declaration to the world. Ethiopia is rising, powered by the strength, unity and dreams of its own people. It is a symbol of hope for all of Africa. The GERD is now woven into the very fabric of modern Ethiopian identity, a living legacy of what can be achieved when a nation believes in itself and works together for a brighter future. Subscribe, like and share Cosmo Academia. While Ethiopia celebrates the progress and promise of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, the mood is very different downstream. Egypt and Sudan have deep concerns about what this massive project could mean for their future. For Egypt, the Nile is not just a river, it is the country's lifeblood. Nearly all of Egypt's water comes from the Nile, supporting its farms, cities and over 100 million people. Without it, daily life and the entire economy would be at risk. The fear is that filling the GERD's massive reservoir too quickly will reduce the water flowing downstream, threatening millions of livelihoods, especially during drought years when every drop counts. Sudan shares these worries, as its own farmers and cities also depend on the Nile. But Sudan also sees potential benefits like more consistent water flow and reduced flooding if the dam is managed well. At the heart of the issue is control. Who gets to decide how much water flows and when? For centuries, the Nile flowed freely from the highlands of Ethiopia through Sudan and into Egypt, shaping civilizations along its banks. But now, with the GERD, Ethiopia has the power to regulate the river's flow for the first time in history, changing the balance of power in the region. Years of intense negotiations have tried to reach a binding agreement on how the dam will be filled and operated, especially during times of drought. But progress has been slow and difficult. Ethiopia wants to fill the reservoir quickly to generate electricity for millions and boost its economy, seeing the dam as a symbol of national pride and progress. Egypt and Sudan, however, insist on a slower, carefully managed process to protect their water supply and avoid devastating shortages. Talks have repeatedly stalled, with no final agreement in sight. The dispute is further complicated by historical treaties and colonial-era agreements, which Egypt says guarantee its share of the Nile, but which Ethiopia argues are outdated and unfair. Ethiopia maintains it has the right to develop its resources and lift millions out of poverty, while Egypt fears for its very survival. Egypt insists on protecting its historical share of the river, seeing any reduction as an existential threat. At its heart, this is a classic upstream-downstream conflict over a shared vital resource, one that will shape the future of millions for generations to come. Ethiopia insists the GERD is not meant to harm its neighbors, but to benefit the whole region. The dam generates electricity without consuming water. The river continues downstream after powering the turbines. Ethiopian leaders point out that Egypt's Aswan Dam hasn't lost water due to GERD's filling. The dam can help prevent floods in Sudan and release water during droughts, offering regional stability. Ethiopia has invited Egyptian and Sudanese experts to the site and shared operational data. The real issue, Ethiopia says, is trust, not water. By providing cheap, clean energy, GERD can drive economic growth and stability across East Africa. Ethiopia envisions the dam as a bridge for regional partnership, not a barrier. The message, a prosperous Ethiopia benefits all its neighbors. As the GERD nears full operation, regional reactions are shifting. Sudan, once aligned with Egypt, now sees benefits, flood control, steady water for irrigation, and access to cheap electricity. The dam can protect Sudanese farms and cities from destructive floods and extend the life of Sudan's own dams. Sudan is now more supportive, seeing GERD as an opportunity for development. Egypt, however, remains deeply concerned, demanding a binding agreement to secure its water share. After failed talks, tensions remain high, 
with Egypt viewing the issue as one of national survival. Ethiopia accuses Egypt of clinging to outdated colonial era claims. The GERD remains the region's biggest diplomatic challenge. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. The GERD has drawn global attention, with world powers urging a peaceful solution. The US and African Union have tried to mediate, but progress is slow. Despite heated rhetoric, experts agree war is unlikely. Dialogue is the only way forward. The African Union's mediation is seen as a test for regional cooperation. Development experts see GERD as a model for African nations harnessing their resources for growth. The dam aligns with global goals for clean energy and sustainable development. The world is watching how Ethiopia, Sudan and Egypt manage the Nile, setting a precedent for other shared rivers. The hope, a win-win solution that turns GERD into an engine of peace and prosperity. The GERD's completion marks a new era for Ethiopia and Africa. It's the foundation for Ethiopia's ambition to modernize, power cities and improve lives. The dam proves African nations can achieve grand visions through their own will and resources. GERD's true legacy will depend on cooperation with neighbors. If Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan can agree on managing the dam, it could become a global model for shared rivers. The dam offers a future where the Nile unites, not divides, its people. It's a symbol of hope for 130 million Ethiopians and for Africa's ability to solve its own challenges. GERD represents the promise of a more prosperous, peaceful era for the region. The water flowing through its turbines carries the dreams of a continent. The future is flowing, and it starts here. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia.